Hey everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold, and this is Five Minutes with Ben, and I'm Ben. And we're going to look at a game played by candidate Gukesh against the Chinese Grandmaster Lu Shengle. This was played in 2020 in a blitz tournament. Uh, I think it was played in real life, not in not on the internet. But that's crazy. Who would play chess in real life? Okay, so they transposed into a London. So that'll make this video either very popular or very unpopular. Uh, if you like playing the London, you will enjoy this game. If you don't like the London, then I don't know. Go look at a game that Magnus won. I don't know. Okay, so Lu Sheng Lei played c5, e3. And black played sort of a boring way, giving white a slight advantage since black's bishop on... C8 isn't great, but this is okay. And Gukesh wanted to take control of the E5 square. So he played bishop to B5. Then when this knight is gone one way or the other, I can you know, get in on E5. So he played knight E7, so as not to ruin his pawn structure. And the knight maybe has greener pastures over here. Bishop goes back to D3 since... It's not doing anything on b5 anymore. And Sheng Lei played b6. He wants to develop his bishop and get control of e4. And white played e4 first. In a blitz game, this seems very difficult to play black unless you already know theory and this is part of your preparation, which it turns out it wasn't. White is obviously threatening e5 which forks the two pieces. So black has to take on e4 one way or the other. Ended up taking this way. And now the chess engine wants to play the move knight takes e4. In fact, it says it's forced. It says black has to do that. Uh, but nobody told black that. Uh, and black played a very dangerous move, um, which is a good move if you want to be featured on five minutes with Ben. Although, if you want to be on the winning side of five minutes with Ben, then it's not a good move. But maybe he didn't care. He just wanted to be in the video. So, played bishop takes g3. This is often very dangerous in the London to let white play h takes g3 and open up the h file. Unless white's already castled, then it's not as dangerous. So, white played uh, Zwischenzug here, didn't... Didn't take the bishop on g3, but took the knight on f6 first, ruining black's pawn structure. It's check, so black takes, white takes, and now white's threatening, bishop takes h7 check, and rook takes h7, and so forth. And the engine already says that black can resign. White's attack is irresistible, and there's nothing black can do about their king getting in a lot of trouble. Okay, so played knight g6, which is very logical. And that's why he played knight e7, was to get his knight over to the king side. And he's blocking the bishop basically permanently. Unfortunately, white doesn't, well, when I say unfortunately, I mean for black. White doesn't need the bishop to continue the attack. White has another piece that's even a better attacker than the bishop. And that piece hasn't come into the game yet. White played the very simple queen to d2, with the even simpler idea of queen h6. And after queen h6, the truth hurts. There's no defense to the h file. And this is like a London player's dream. We're on move 14, and black has all of their pieces almost, all of them on the back row. Only the knight is defending. White has an open h file. White's queen's going to h6. White's bishop's on the diagonal. This is why people play the London with white. So not good play from black. And of course, it was a blitz game. And Gukesh has an easy victory. And this game was played four years ago in 2020. Gukesh was actually lower rated than his opponent. That's how long ago this game was. And since this game, Gukesh has gained 200 rating points. Now he's playing in the candidates. So truth hurts. Anyway, black resigned because queen h6 is unstoppable and white's attack is irresistible. 
I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This has been Five Minutes with Ben. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.